Hi everyone. Here's our exciting day at Belmont Park. Uh, I'll try to give you the blow by blow. As you see the paddock, that's the back of my head, Yurik and Vicky. And um, they're showing number five, but in a moment you're going to see Dixie Sony. There's Eddie. Um, and some of our other partners, and although the camera's on five, and there she is, there's Dixie Serenade, led by her groom, her closest friend, uh, Georgie, who she likes to eat for breakfast every day. Uh, she's a velociraptor. There I am with Lena and Vicky smiling and Yurik and Bruce Bitterman, and I'm trying to pick it up as I'm watching, and Eddie was giving Michael Sanchez the instructions, and this is... Um, a very very special time and don't think we weren't nervous we were extremely nervous i still am does she become compromised here greg here we are leaving the paddock and get ready for the post parade where uh, dixie serenade is going to be introduced and you guys take a look <laughs> at the smile on michael sanchez's face when he walks out in his first great stakes try at belmont park On the track for race nine, the victory ride. Here's the field. Number three is Separation of Powers, owned by Claravich Stables, trained by Chad Brown with Jose Ortiz. Number four, Sower, is owned by Leonard C. Green, trained by Linda Rice. The rider is Irod Ortiz, Jr. The five, Mia Mischief, owned by William and Corinne Heiligbrod, Heider Family Stable and Madigan Stables, trained by Steve Asmussen with Ricardo Santana, Jr. The Six Dixie Serenade, owned by Uptown Charlie Brown Stud, trained by Eddie Coletti Jr. with Michael Sanchez. Here's Dixie warming up as she goes to the starting gate. And you can see Michael chose not to use a pony as Dixie is very well behaved. And in a moment, you're going to see uh, Dixie Serenade again. There she is. And Michael is socializing with the other jockeys, telling them, um, you guys have no idea what's coming. And they went, oh, yeah? It's now post time, so I'm just going to be quiet Mia for a moment. Me and Mischief and Classy Act. And let Larry Comas take it from Waiting for there. Dixie Serenade and Norma's Charm. They're all in line. They're off in the victory ride, and Separation of Powers stumbled badly at the start and has been left behind the field. Classy Act and Mia Mischief come out the best. So are right behind them. Take Charge Paula is away running in fourth. Norma's Charm is fifth on the outside. And they're followed by Spectator Dixie Serenade. And after the stumble at the start, Separation of Powers is last of them all. Moving for the turn, Mia Mischief and Classy Act through a 22.25 quarter. They're stride for stride with a half mile to run. It's two and a half back to Sower running in third by another two and a half. Norma's Charm follows in fourth. Take charge Paula. She's a good 10 lengths off the lead at this stage of the race. After that comes Spectator and Separation of Powers, and Dixie Serenade is the trailer. Classy Act hounding me a mischief all the way. 44.63 the half. And Sower is coming up on the outside of them now. And they're into the stretch. And here comes Sower to the outside of Classy Act. Mia Mischief put to pressure on the inside. Three lengths back to take charge, Paula. Separation of Powers is starting to run on two. And then comes Dixie Serenade. They're coming to the final 16th. It is Sower on the outside of Classy Act. These two late bids. Dixie Serenade up the inside. I think she got there. Dixie Serenade came flying late. Got there over Classy Act and Sower in the victory ride.
Photo finish, hold all tickets, final time, 1 minute, 16.57 seconds. Number six, Dixie Serenade was first. Number 10, Classy Act was second. Number four, Sower was third. And three, Separation of Powers was fourth. And now for the exciting part. Michael Sanchez is circling around and somehow they told me to go out there and greet him. Look at that smile. It's a million dollar smile for sure. He can make a toothpaste commercial, I'm sure. And uh, I'm heading out there to uh, Lee Dixie, Georgie Michael, back into the winner's circle where um, the feeling is just surreal. Uh, there's no words to describe it. There I am going out there. And all I'm thinking, there's water and mud all over the place. And it's like walking on marbles. It's official 61043. You're damn right it's official. And there I am. And I'm saying, I hope I don't fall down. Look at me. <laughs> and um, now we're heading into the winner's circle. And uh, as I Into said, the winner's circle is Dixie Serenade. Look at everybody in the winner's circle. Three-year-old Bay Philly by Uptown Charlie Brown out of Moonlight Serenade by Malibu Moon. None Owned of us know what, what's Charlie happening. Brown I don't even know where to by go. Eddie Coletti there's Jr. Luna, there's by Susan Michael Zaleski Sanchez. with the hat on. The winner was bred in and, uh, Pennsylvania I'm by to everybody Fantasy look at the Lane camera. Stable. Look at Michael smile again. And uh, just unbelievable. So exciting. For the victory ride being presented to the winning connections of Dixie Serenade, who's owned by Uptown Charlie Brown Stud, trained by Eddie Coletti Jr. and ridden by Michael Sanchez. And the little boy next to Michael Sanchez is Bruce Bitterman's grandson. And that's Lena next to Michael. And uh, I see Mark Hansen in the blue shirt in the back. Um, Rich Loftus with the white beard. Susan Zaleski with the hat. And here comes Eddie. Eddie had just given an interview. There's Rich Danziger behind uh, Eddie and his family. Amanda and Darl Darlene, his wife. And... Um, None of us knew what was going on, and I could tell you our feet never touched the ground. Just so exciting. Kisses, hugs, 